Hi, I'm Stephanie Ratcliffe, Executive Director of the Wild Center. And we're here, we're back here today at the Wild Center to celebrate the final installation of our pellet boiler solar thermal project. All of our partners are here today to celebrate its final completion and operation. And it's great to be here almost a year later after starting this project last July and say that um, our pellet boiler and solar thermal project is officially up and running and working and you see it here behind you. It's important to us because from the very beginning days when we built this building um, and we were um, really seeking to be a sustain sustainable practice and everything that we do and also the, the architecture, our site, this is just one more of those things that add to our daily um, practice of trying to figure out how to uh, work better with nature. And what I really love about this project is this sort of localized energy cycle we have going on that, you know, a tree, you know, not more than 100 miles away can be um, harvested, um, go to a pellet plant and come back and just, you know, have this local energy cycle where it's not even leaving the park and it's and it's heating all of our homes and our buildings here. The other thing I think is so interesting about this project, which um, we're going to share with everyone very openly, is the potential in heating some of our large commercial buildings here in the Adirondack. So the potential to sort of get that story out and to really demonstrate it and share everything that we're learning and the energy savings which we're going to have from this project, that's going to be really fun for, you know, in the next couple of years to continue to share that information. Behind me is our pellet storage container, um, and that is what stores all of the fuel for our boiler that is located in the basement. As you can see, it is a recycled shipping container. It's actually traveled the world, and it's found its uh, final home here at the Wild Center, where it serves another purpose, storing our wood pellets. We can hold about 20 to 25 tons of wood pellets in that container. On top of the container, you see two types of solar collectors. These aren't photovoltaic collectors, they are solar thermal collectors, so they actually directly heat the water that's passing through them. So those uh, solar collectors play uh, an integral role in this combined project using both biomass and solar thermal energy. Um, we are using the water to not only heat our domestic water in our kitchen cafe, but we're also using it to augment our space heating needs and we inject the heated water when it's no longer used by our kitchen into our space heating loop to actually heat the building. And that will become very, very important and beneficial to us during the shoulder heating months, typically of uh, April and May and September and October when we still have a need to heat the building in the early morning hours. So we're finding just on the last two days of operation that the combined system is working as we had hoped. We are actually getting harvesting benefit from the sun, um, not only satisfying our domestic hot water needs, but contributing to our space heating loop uh, in the basement. This is the first boiler that we've manufactured in New York of this size, and we think that there's a, a great opportunity to use a local resource, which is wood pellets or wood chips, and to keep the energy dollars recycled in the local economy. But we see a great opportunity for small businesses and schools to take advantage of this type of weather system. Well, our boiler will burn both wood chips and wood pellets, and it will directly replace oil, gas, or propane. And the advantage of the wood pellets is that I think Chris will confirm that uh, it's about 35% cheaper than the propane that you Actually, at, at today's prices, the, the heating value per dollar uh, of wood is about 40% better than propane. The, the other fossil fuel that we uh, 
we're relying on in the past. In a cost per uh, cost saving per ton of carbon, wood is a very effective way to reduce the region's carbon footprint by replacing fossil fuels with renewable wood. Throwing any excess heated water, if you will, to our space loop, our space heating loop, and our space heating loop is reflected by these large insulated pipes that you see here. This is the start of the run. It goes all around the museum. There's approximately 500 lineal feet of piping running through the basement of the museum with about 600 gallons of storage capacity. That in itself serves as another storage vessel that can store the solar energy for us and use it uh, to minimize the firing demand and the cycling of the wood pellet boiler. So on days like today, uh, during a, an ideal shoulder heating season uh, situation, we are getting significant benefit from the solar energy heated hot water by it being passed into our hydronic loop and reducing the need to fire our wood fired boiler. We can get the data that we need from each controller. Uh, the temperature on the collector right now is 199. Uh, the temperature at the bottom is 176. And the temperature at the top is 172. It's cool because we are delivering BTUs to help heat the wild center as we speak right now. So that energy that we're conveying now could possibly be used tomorrow morning. We'll have a full solar monitoring system which we are uh, now installing so that all of you will be able to go and get the information on the operation of this facility on the World Wide Web. One of the best parts of this project is not only that it's technically a success and that we've been able to verify the performance or in the process of verifying the performance of these two integrated renewable energy systems through Clarkson University, but it's also part of the museum and there's a new path exhibit and these are not the first two stops on that new path. They have photovoltaic arrays, they have a living roof, they have a LEED certified building. Throughout the country we're all trying to find ways to use energy more efficiently, to use renewable energy wherever we can. And in the Northeast we have this great northern forest. We have lots of uh, wood that can be turned into pellets and used locally, removing the transportation costs and emissions associated with that. We can achieve very high efficiencies with boilers running on pellets. And this project is an example of a made in New York product that's a high efficiency boiler using a made in New York pellet that was manufactured locally. Hope you've enjoyed this video series as we've installed this project and learned all about the different aspects of it. We've been heating the Wild Center with our pellet boiler for about a month now and our solar system has been in operation for about a week. So it's so exciting for us to have ever, all these uh, parts come together and actually heat our building. So next time you come to the Wild Center, we'll be able, you'll be able to walk around all aspects of the system. We'll take you to the basement. You can see the boiler. You can watch the pellets drop into our system. And you can come learn more about the details of how it all works together. So come visit the Wild Center and come see our new pellet boiler solar thermal system.